and welcome to another video uh, I'm here at the California farm and it's a beautiful morning the temperatures are starting to come up a little bit uh, the last video I made the soil temperature was 4 C and now we're up to 8 C so that means that I'm able to plant uh, many more different crops and I can just show you what I mean by that here's the seasons mod menu and uh, the crops that are now in white they were this was all blue yesterday or a couple of days ago and uh, so now everything that is in white is now plantable um, so that includes one of my favorites canola as uh, well as um, what was the other I mean, okay oat yeah I, I do like to plant oat as well um, barley as well so uh, I've got a couple small fields that I'm going to be attempting to plant here soon um, but for now I uh, we're gonna hop in the truck real quick since I got some seed in the bed uh, in the bags and I'm going to drive over to the planter that I was going to use for the smaller fields um, that are close to the shop so it won't take too long but uh, yeah <laughs> No, uh, no wind again today, which is a little odd. Usually we have some some kind of wind, um, but yeah, this is uh, the wind turbine is completely still. So, um, but the yeah, the weather always changes. So I'm sure we'll have some more in the future. Um, that's why I've got solar solar plants and wind uh, the wind turbine. So um, one's not operating, the other one is. So as you can see, it's a pretty sunny day. So should be making some energy today um, but yeah I think and the uh, I've got you know the canola has popped up around here um, so I don't know if I, I might I might harvest it this field is an exception it was more like a mix uh, well what was left of the the seed um, so that was kind of like a finishing off of the canola over there uh, but I might harvest that and um, I harvest canola for uh, a couple of different reasons, but the main one is so I can process it and turn it into biodiesel. I've got a uh, <clears throat> the biodiesel uh, plant is down next to all the other uh, main uh, plants like the fertilizer plant and all that. So government project, um, but it's been useful. So I'm just going to yeah I need to pull this out so I can put seed into it. I just uh, repaired it according to the sim so that just uh, it was at a certain percentage of wear and tear and uh, just got it back to 100% even though it doesn't look <laughs> it doesn't look like it's in the, the best condition that's you know that's just uh, what happens when you buy a used piece of equipment um, and looks a certain way but uh, mechanically I think it's going to be fine. So as you can see now, it's completely empty of seed. Um, so I'm just gonna pull it out and then we'll fill it up with whatever's in the truck. Um, these are small fields that I'm aiming to plant, so uh, we don't need a ton of seed. So, And I'm uh, choosing to plant with this today because I've never planted with this tractor. And I'm curious to see with the trike mod attachment up front, um, how uh, how it goes? Um, I'm able to see. I can do <laughs> I can do like 90 degree. Not not not, not that the uh, the planter can do that kind of turn, but I'm gonna see how tight I can actually make the turns. And uh, I just want to try a very very maneuverable setup like this, even though it's, it is uh, it is going to be a little sensitive on the hills and things, um, given that the uh, trike configuration. So we won't have a lot of stability up front if we get on tight turns or hills or something like that so um actually I could just plant or back up to the truck and see if it oh okay it's giving me the option now to refill so uh yeah not the most realistic thing but <laughs> we'll just take it uh sometimes the planters will the lids oh they did there you go the lids have opened it's just kind of hard to I didn't notice that so the lids have opened uh yeah there you go once you get close to a source of seed uh, for this particular mod, 
it'll do that, so. And I'll just check the truck real quick. Oh. Okay. Wow, there's still still some seed left over. Uh, okay. Wow, this. Okay, a thousand, whatever a thousand means. I'm not sure what that number represents. I can't remember. Um, okay. Oh, and this must be the. Oh, I wonder if that's. That? No, okay. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, yep, got, and I'm gonna change it right now just so I don't forget. Instead of. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't plant canola in this, right? Um, shoot, I thought I could plant. Um, <laughs> uh, what do I want to plant? It's, it's small fields anyway, so it's not a big deal. Might be soybeans. Is it warm enough for soybeans? Let me check out. So, oh, no, it's not. Um, hmm. It's not warm enough for corn. <laughs> I'm kind of limited here, actually. Okay, well, I can plant sunflowers and do something with it. Mainly, I'm just testing this out, so... I'm not, uh, I'm not planting any kind of cash crop field area with this, so we're just going to take it out for a spin, that's all. Uh, Alright, let's go. <laughs> it's a little, uh, it's a little funny how the front axle is still, uh, connected and, uh, spins like it's being driven. <laughs> I just like the way this mod looks, home built, for sure. And, uh, this, uh, this is my main planting rig, or one of my main planting rigs, because we just passed the supersized, uh, rig up there with 9520 at the helm. Um, but this is my go-to, just because it's a special planter this one can plant into standing crop, and, um, the field doesn't mean, need to be tilled or cultivated. Um, I try to just do strictly no-till, so, uh, and this planter that I'm towing behind me is also that same way. Um, so I try to do no-till as much as possible, but I do have a cultivating rig um, that I uh, keep around in case I purchase a new field or I decide to buy a different planter that um, needs, uh, needs a field to be cultivated. Um, just trying out different things, different combinations of equipment and, and all that. So it's very much a uh, kind of a research farm, but I still uh, still try to treat it like, you know, try to harvest and, you know, sell crops like corn and things like that, but, uh, yeah, also just try, new, try different things, see how it looks. So I'm going to be planting in one of these fields down here. I have it divided um, into these sections here. I think it's three sections, maybe. Um, but I could just start here, really. Um, it just occurred to me that this tractor is GPS equipped, um, but I don't. Yeah, I don't necessarily feel like doing that right now. I'll try and get. And this oilseed radish is my cover crop for this field, so that's why this is here. Because uh, this is, you know, spring. Well, now it's late spring, but uh, this is what was. Oh, this is what the field uh, had during the winter. Okay. <coughs> Can't remember if the ridge marker shows up in oilseed when I run it through, but let me give it a. Oh, that's right. I've got to have. Okay. Uh, that turned on. I get the ridge marker. Oh, maybe the planet has to be down. Okay, there we go. So our speed is set. Our seed, speed and seed. <laughs> Sunflowers, right? Um, and the oh, okay. I think the application rate is just for fertilizer. If I had any in here, which I don't. Uh, which this field is, I think this field is actually pretty good on. I just wanted to take a look at that real quick. 
Yeah, this field's pretty good on nitrogen at the moment. Um, okay. Um, yep, turned on. Okay, it's gonna go. And does it leave a mark? Oh, it does. Okay. Even though it doesn't. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Well, I just gotta keep it straight, really. I mean, there's not a lot of... Not a lot of turning here. Those are kind of goofy. <laughs> okay, just gonna raise up the ridge marker. Oh wait, hold on. This thing is kind of finicky. It needs the planter down before it lets the ridge marker do anything. So this kind of ruins the flow a little bit. But, okay, I just want to. Wow. Um, the only limiting factor now is the planner itself, but I can I think I can do a pretty tight turn with this uh with the connection here. That ridge marker line does not look center at all. <laughs> I could be wrong. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Looks awful close to... Doesn't look quite right. Maybe it is. Right. Well. Maybe it is like right on the edge there. It's kind of blurry because... It's not a perfect line. See, that doesn't look like much of a gap at all. But, okay, it might be. I mean, I'm used to like super wide planters, so this one isn't that wide. It might be correct. And down, ridge marker. That one. Speed is set. Good. Okay, I guess that's correct. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Not quite. Yeah, it's kind of riding in the what we already planted. It's interesting. Marker up first. Just want to see how tight. <laughs> I can handle a pretty tight turn. The, I'm just looking at the planner connection. I mean, realistically, that's, you know. It's not too bad, actually. All right, but now my s the spacing isn't quite right on the uh, ridge marker. Well, I mean, if I keep the... As far as I know, you're supposed to line up the center of the hood with the ridge marker line, but that is not the case here. So I'm going to have to offset it right to the right. But I don't know why I have to do that. That looks better, so I'll just have to adjust my just how I followed that line. Oh, it is that same. There we go. I'll just keep to the left side of the line. It's better.
a bumpy field. <laughs> but maybe it's just because of this uh, configuration that I'm feeling the bumps a lot more. <laughs> Swing it right around. It's so weird seeing the, the wheel turn at that angle. <laughs> wow, this is pretty wild. Goofed up that turn somehow. Straight back. Let's get on the start here. So now we're going to be on, we're going to line up with this side, so I'm just on the edge. Six is a reasonable planning speed, but it feels fast in this, I don't know. I don't even know if I'm going to do this uh, entire field. I might just divide it up again. <laughs> I keep splitting into smaller and smaller sections until it's like, what's even, what's even the point of it? <laughs> I just, just want, I wanted to do a couple of lines for this, and the uh, the problem is that this um, this planter is pretty limited when it can plant. So my goal crop would be, you know, like I said, uh, canola or, or corn or something like that. So uh, I can always, I mean, obviously I can always change out the uh, planter that's attached to this tractor. But yeah, I think that's good enough for now. Uh, oh, we're getting some bad nitrogen readings, that's interesting. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of sunflower there. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I'll bring down... Uh, I'll start planting... Well, yeah, wait. Yeah, canolas. I can start planting that, so... I'll get in my uh, other tractor and, and do the canola with that one. Yeah, it's an interesting setup. <laughs> trike, uh, trike configuration. Oh yeah, we got a... Okay. Good. Alright. That was just a little test. Uh, I barely used any seed. Yeah, I barely planted anything too. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've got just like really small, I guess you can call them test plots, I guess, but it's not like I'm testing any new crops or anything, it's just like, um, yeah. That would be, that would be a good purpose for this thing, like, if you had like different strains of seed or things like that, it would be good test plot tractors, because if you whip around and, you know, hook up a, hook up a size planter like this, small planter, but I've got a couple tractors in the shed that I'm going to try out, um, probably, uh, I don't know, soon, but I've got an 8RX, uh, that hasn't seen any action yet, um, I've got a, uh, treaded fent, I forget what that one is, the number of class on that, but, uh, I've got a, lots of different equipment just to test it out, see what I like, what's comfortable, uh, what's efficient, so... Yeah, I'll just switch into this uh, this setup up here. Oh, 
I think on the same tractor, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned that, uh, or if I mentioned that in a video. Let me just pull, park it here for a second. This is a, oh, this is a 7330, oh, that's right, this is a 7310. So, they are almost the same, just horsepower is different, and of course, this one's got the funny trike setup. But, and I've got dualies on there. Go ahead. Oh yeah, right, so I've got the, this one's got the dualies on the rear. So, but yeah, other than that, uh, mix and match, I mean, not too much of a difference. <laughs> I pulled in pretty tight to the planner. <laughs> right, let's park this out of the way for now. That is kind of cool. I do like the, I do like a, able to steer on a dime. It's a nice feature. Thank you. Let's the coin. There we go. Thing sounds awesome when it shuts down too. Uh, let's see. Do I want to play it right now? <laughs> well, let's see. Does this have seed? Oh wow, we've got a full load of seed. Okay. Uh, well, seven uh, seven point four hours. Yeah, I can go down there. Oh, oh, the, oh wait, wait, I just realized, I was like, wait, are the headlights different? But then obviously, <laughs> the uh, headlights on the other one are hidden behind the uh, trike setup on the front. That is a pretty nice, yeah, this is a really nice looking tractor. Sounds nice. Uh, I think this is a mod. This, this uh, 7310R, I think this is a, a mod I've downloaded. Um, usually I can tell that right away because it's got these little functions like uh, yeah, open the door <laughs> there's a cool uh, extra stuff you can do with the, the mods versus uh, what's provided in the sim uh, yeah I just wanted to let it warm up for a second since it's been sitting for a while but we can go roll on down Actually, now that I think about it, the uh, the other tractor, the uh, 7230, that would probably be a, a nice uh, nice tractor to pull this planter with because this planter can take pretty tight turns uh, in the way it's configured. So that might be a good 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 thing to do in the future. Um, but I happen to like I really like driving the 7310. I mean, like I said earlier, there's not a much of a difference, but it's just like feel of it. <laughs> I don't know how to I don't know how to put it in, you know, it's like this comparing it to real life, I mean, this is pretty realistic. So yeah, what was I uh oh yeah I wanted to play canola so we're ready to go with that. I checked the seasons mod and says soil temperature's good. So even though it seems a little cold I think eight, eight Celsius is what I think I uh, converted it once. I'll get this field. Uh, oh, plus we have GPS, which I might have to draw a line. Ah, I like going over bushes. I'm gonna get. Yeah, I'm gonna figure out the. Uh, I don't want to do GPS. I should start from the end. I haven't planned it yet the way the GPS is configured. It's going to start, it's going to want to start at the edge of the field. I'm going to unfold this planter, it's much wider. <laughs> Remember all that. Okay. Just pull in here a little 
little bit. Excellent. Okay, let me get the let me get the GPS system turned on here. Okay, I've got to create a track, okay. Um, yeah, this field won't take long to do it long at all. Oh, do you want to get a little close to the edge? Oh. Hold on. Oh. I just noticed the... <laughs> That's interesting. The center line dot is showing. Oh, okay. I've just never noticed that before. When I create a track, it's interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we're on the, now we're on the edge. Keep it as straight as possible. <laughs> okay, I'm going to create a track. GPS menu. Uh, make sure our auto width is enabled. Oh, that should be on. Right? Yes. Show lines. That right is still should be on. And let's see. Uh I want to create a new one. Oh. There's new start the setting. Yes, okay. So we're set setting A, this is our start point now. I think saving comes later. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Doesn't like that. I don't want to click on one of these, because I don't think so I'm selecting it. Okay. Oh. Ten. Uh, shoot. <laughs> yeah, I need I need to do it properly. Hold on. What's the with uh? This is field six. Okay. Okay, so I guess I type first to create a new name. Okay. Okay. So did that overwrite? I don't think so. I hope not. Okay, so now we've got I think A is created now. Somewhere to be somewhere okay. Right there. Okay, I'm gonna make sure it's working. Set A. I'm not seeing A though. <laughs> okay. So, lower. And all is selected. Our speed is on, selected. Uh, not gonna use bridge marker. Okay, so the dots are there. Uh, 
the dots are showing up. I don't see the A. I don't know. I think I'm missing a step or something. Alright, well, let's just do a pass and something does not seem right. Alright, well, I'm just gonna make a straight line regardless. Oh, wait. Oh, A's over there. Oh, what is going on? Uh oh. I'm, I'm really confused. All right, well, let's just do a pass and see what happens. I'm not sure what's going on. Let's keep it straight. Oh, okay. The one looks great. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so... Training is not committed yet, but... I have not experienced what is happening right now before. We'll just follow this line. We're still on the edge of the... F oh. Uh oh. Somehow we got away from the edge there. I'm going to set because I have to turn, uh, space to turn around. I'm going to set that as B. Okay. And... <laughs> Did that work? It keeps turning off guidance steerance. Oh, okay. I think it works. Let's get turned around. Okay, I think it's working. Because we're gonna flip around. Okay, yes. Nope. I missed that. Nope, it wants to go the other direction for some reason. <laughs> okay, now we're on. Alright, now we're on the line. There we go. Alright, we're good now. <laughs> it's like every time I do this, it's like a, something new or something weird happens. Okay, guidance is on, speed is good. Alright, we're good now. Except now we're leaving a gap. Oh my god. Nope. <laughs> Oh no. What is going on? I don't know. It's not that big of a deal, but this should, uh, shouldn't be doing that. There shouldn't be a gap. We'll see what happens when I flip around again. I'm just going to plan straight through. I don't need to do an edge. There's driving through the bushes there. Just going to back up the hair. Kind of to drag my expensive planter through the bushes, but. <laughs> At the end of the day, this is a sim. <laughs> okay. We should be lined up now. It's looking better. Okay, follow this line, please. Okay, now we're... I think... Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> 
All right, well, it's working now at least, but I don't know what I uh, goofed up somehow over there. So, actually, I kind of like it. I mean, <laughs> it breaks up the breaks up the fit a little bit, uh, leaving that layer of cover crop in there. It's a walking path, so we'll just move forward. It's not that big of a deal. But, I don't know, this, this is weird how every once in a while it's like, I just goof up something I've been I've done repeatedly. I've been playing with the GPS stuff quite a bit recently, so I'm not sure what I did wrong. Now we're rolling. Now we're rolling. I do like to stop, just uh, instead of lowering it on the go. Okay, so <laughs> like now we got the. <laughs> now we're gonna have that other edge there. That's okay. Well, at least, well, it'll be confusing at first, but this will kind of break up. Yeah, that's actually, it's funny how it works. Okay, so that's going to, this line that we're leaving behind us is going to break up the sunflower from the canola. And then down there, it's going to be, why is there a line there? But it's just how things happen. So that's going to be canola and then canola again. Oh. Oh well. This field, I don't believe this field is perfectly square either, so the way I uh, shape the edges or the. Yeah, so that's okay. Alright. Well, that's, that's done. So now we've got one field planted sunflower and canola and some goofy leftover radish, oilseed radish lines, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm wondering what I did that made that leave a gap there. So this video is pretty long now, but um, yeah, so this will this will be planted next. Um, with the smaller fields, I like to do different crops, not just canola everything, but leave the bigger fields for you know corn and canola. Uh, well, I'm just gonna park this here for now. Well, I can do oat eventually. Let's see what do we have here. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> I've got to go find a planter that can do oat and uh, barley. Oh no, this can. Oh no, well, Jeez, I'm really. Uh, this can do barley and oat. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm going to leave it on, uh, okay. Right on. Well, thanks for watching, and, uh, you can see I'm still struggling to <laughs> do the basic tasks, but, uh, we got it accomplished, so see you in the next one.